So the very first component in a circuit that we need to understand to sort of kickstart everything is the voltage source. We said that the simple way to think about this is your battery, right? So your car battery, your phone battery, your watch battery. A battery provides a constant, unchanging, at least while it's working well and healthy, voltage into the system. The equivalent analog, the equivalent water analogy of a voltage source is a water pump. And so you can think about a voltage source being something in the water analogy, like the following. If you have a pipe that you're pushing current through, that you're pushing water through, your water pump is going to off here, and it's going to inject. Let's see if I can draw this right. It's going to inject from some reservoir. water at a, at a constant pressure into the pipe. That is what a water pump, at least as we're defining it, will do. And if you can think about that understanding, a constant amount of pressure of water being pushed into the pipe, then you'll have a very, no, not, not a very good, a mathematically equivalent understanding of what a voltage source does. That's the basics. Think of a voltage source being applied to a circuit as something that generates a fixed amount of pressure into the pipe. And thus, when we draw the actual analog of this, where this is positive and negative, then it becomes clear that anything that's connected to this is going to be getting a fixed voltage applied here is different than the voltage if measured at the wire down here. There will always be a voltage difference, right? A difference in water pressure of V between this wire and that wire. That's the basics of a voltage source.